Hello ladies and gentlemen, Keaton here and welcome to Nuclear Throne update number 78. For those of you who do not know, this is the one time a week where we here at Tengu Drop take a look at the latest Nuclear Throne update, grab that change log, put it into video format for your viewing pleasure, and show you as much as possible. With that said, before we head into update number 78, let's quickly recap what happened in update number 77. Update number 77 introduced the jungle, a new secret level. With the new level came variations of the bandits, the assassins, and a giant fly-like enemy. Also introduced was a new powerful shell weapon called the Eraser. Flambeer continued to overhaul menus, tweak chicken's abilities, rebalance weapons, and fix a few issues. Now that we're all caught up, let's check out update number 78. Update number 78 introduces a new crown to the game called the Crown of Curses. When taken, players will notice an increase in the amount of curse chests during their runs. The crown is only currently accessible via the loadout screen. Also added this week were sound effects to the sewers loot boss. Though players may need to pay special attention in order to hear them over the barrage of impending death sounds usually heard during loops. The labs have received a new rare enemy, and our best efforts to discover this new enemy were unsuccessful. However, according to a couple of threads on the Steam forums, it seems this new enemy is part barrel and part turret. Finally, it seems the guitar was added to the game as a usable weapon. While the changelog makes no mention of this, according to Steam user Diplodocus, the guitar can be found during the second throne fight. And that's it for new content, so let's check out the fixes and changes for the week. Lil Hunter has received more changes to its behavior. The most notable change made seems to be to Lil Hunter's projectiles. Instead of firing a large amount of giant orb-like projectiles, Lil Hunter now fires a large amount of oblong-shaped projectiles that bounce off any walls they touch. Loading screens have received an update now featuring a lot of the same details that can be found on the Game Over screen, including current level, kill count, and progression meter. The Seeker Pistol's rate of fire has been decreased, and the Eraser's damage has been decreased. The Strong Spirit mutation allows for one second of invincibility after triggering, and single enemies in general can only deal damage once per second. A huge number of fixes were made, no doubt in response to the numerous crashes reported in regards to last week's update. And that's a very brief rundown of the fixes and changes made this week. Blembeer have actually made a large amount of tweaks and fixes across the board, so we highly recommend you read this week's full changelog for yourself. A link can be found in the description below. Now let's check in with what the community's been up to. This week's Steam User Solid has issued the Epics Challenge. That's Epics with an X. This challenge will require players to use Robot, avoid selecting from a set of three mutations, the Crown of Curses must be active, and any weapons are good to use. If this challenge sounds epic enough for you, be sure to check out the link in the description below listed under Community Link Dump for all the epic details. Then epically head over to the Epic Nuclear Throne Wiki to learn people stopped replacing letters with X and Z in the 90s. And that'll do it for update number 78. If you haven't already purchased Nuclear Throne and you want to learn more about it, be sure to check out NuclearThrone.com. You can also subscribe to Vlambeer's Twitch channel where they livestream the development of this game every Tuesday and Thursday. Subscribing gives you access to Nuclear Throne emoticons to use on Twitch.tv as well as a Steam copy of the game. And of course, we here at Tango Drop do our best to cover the latest Nuclear Throne update every weekend, and we also do a playthrough every Thursday called Nuclear Throne Roulette. So be sure to check back often, or just subscribe to the channel. As always, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on the latest additions and changes made to the game. How do you feel about update number 78 in general? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, hope it was informative, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!